Smooth. Oh, um, not going to lie to you. It's been the most fun I ever had at spring ball in a long time. So, yeah. Reps, opportunities, um, a lot of positive reinforcement. Even when I make a mistake, it's still a lot of positive reinforcement, a lot of faith in my ability that helped me gain faith in my ability and confidence. So I'm able to be who I am and who I want to be on the field. Um, to be frankly honest, um, the coaches can only do so much when it comes to scheme and everything like that. You can have the best defensive scheme, you can have the best game plan for any offense, but if the players ain't there to execute, it wouldn't mean nothing. So it just really just boils down execution. So I think that's why I just really pride myself on making sure I'm in the right spot, right alignment, and make sure I do everything right. Both. Um, you just got to trust what the coaches call, then execute. And that's what I really did, honestly. I ain't going to like sit here and be like, oh, I just manhandled everybody. But I was just saying, like, I did what I had to do when I was for, for that play call. And that was that. I always felt like I had leadership qualities within. Um, I kind of like tapped into that when I was in high school. So it's been, it's been a yearning desire within me to be a leader. And I'm glad I had the opportunity to be a leader here. And I unwillingly accepted that role. However, um, as a leader, you don't just walk in and demand to be the leader. Uh, the team has to give you that within respect. So like, I'm just making sure I do what I got to do to be trustworthy, accountable, and with, within every aspect, whether it's academics, athletics, and social life, and make sure that the team gives me that position, not me just taking it. You know what I mean? So just taking the right steps. And, and um, yeah, so I always want to be a leader. You know. What was the Nebraska bringing the crowd like for you? I mean, Come like come for the SEC and everything like that. When there's a, when you, everything everybody prides football. It's just that um, it's a different feeling when um, when you're in my position. Um, you had to go through all the trials and tribulations and everything like that. Um, to be honest with you, when I saw the fans, there's more kids than anything, and um, I love kids. I go a lot to you, so I, I really love kids. So that was the most exciting part about it, cause like now, like I have an impact on the youth, and I just try to do that as best as I can. Oh man, I love them. As I said, I love them. Those are guys that uh, you don't really expect that out of freshmen a lot, who can like line up and play ball, but like over the time, like. You know, over the time of me practicing with them and everything like that, I developed having trust within those guys where, like, I don't look at them as freshmen. I look at them as someone who can line up and do the same job in every time. They're accountable. They're trustworthy. And I just I, I wish the best for them as, as, my, as long as my tenure is here. So, yeah, I mean, Prince Will and Cam, there's a lot I can say about those guys, but I don't want to stay here too long. <laughs> Um, going against Jeff Sims is as a pass rusher going against Jeff Sims, you have to be really, really delicate on how you rush. If you if you rush past the quarterback, he's gonna make you pay every single time. If you don't have if if we don't have a balanced rush, he's gonna make you pay every single time. Um, basically, all I gotta say that he makes me better. Um, iron sharpens iron. And that's our mentality here. And yeah, it's just two hammers going at each other right now. And um. Yeah, I think Jeff Sims have a lot of has a great future here, has a great future within that offense. I believe that he can take us to a lot of places that we want to go to, and um, I, we just he just developing each other each way we go. Um, 
developed to be a player-led team. Uh, Coach, Coach Rule did his job. Coach Rule and his coaching staff did his job in the winter slash spring to instill the foundation of our culture here. Now it's our job to accept that culture and embrace it and apply it within each other, distribute within each other. So not only we, sh we hear, hear things from the coaches, we hear things from ourselves, from the leaders on the team, from the captains on this team. We apply that. We um, we the one that does the discipline. We the one that holds everybody accountable, not just the coaches. You know, let them coach football. Let us coach us.